To balance this equation, Na plus O2 gives us Na2O, let's first write down the number of atoms we have on each side of the equation. We have on the reactants, one sodium and then two oxygens. Over on the products, we have two sodiums and one oxygen. So they're kind of almost reversed here. Let's try to fix, let's fix the oxygens first because it looks like if I fix the oxygens, I'm gonna change the sodiums and then I'll have to redo that. So I'm gonna do the oxygens first. I'm gonna put a two in front of this Na2O compound. One times the two, that means I now have two oxygens and those are balanced, but I have the two here times the two. So now I have four sodium atoms. That's not too bad to fix. I have one here. I could put a coefficient of four in front of the sodium. One times four, that equals four. And I'm done balancing this equation. The trick really was to start by fixing the oxygens because I could see that if I fixed this oxygen here, when I did that, that would change the sodium. So best to leave those for last. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for sodium plus oxygen gas. You had sodium oxide, and thanks for watching.